Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to change this lock cylinder on a BMW in this short quick video without pulling your door handle out or your window out or anything. Let's get started right away. Okay, here's the reason I'm changing mine. This key is very worn out and I'm 10 hours away from the nearest BMW dealership in order to get a new key. So I have a parts car. I'm just gonna switch all the locks and I'll just have a different key for the ignition. Like this will be my ignition key and I'll have a different key for the doors. No big deal. See, this one barely works. Like you have to play around with it forever. See, the way you do this is you, you put it in, you pull it back a little bit. And then if you shake it just right, once in a while it opens, there it goes. So the trick to this is you do need a key to get this out, a somewhat working key. It doesn't have to work perfect, but you have to be able to turn it. Okay, so that's step number one. Step number two, guys, you gotta get your window all the way up and you're gonna have to take your door skin off here. And that's the only thing you're gonna be taking off. Okay, guys, so inside of this door here, um, see right in there, you can see the cylinder. See, there it is. Let me just focus on it. See right there. So there's like a little, like a metal little rod you gotta push up. So you're gonna put a little screwdriver in there and you're gonna bang it out. Let me show you. So here is my parts car handle, see? So on the back of this, see there's the front. See, it's that thing you're knocking out. It does just slide right out. See that pin there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna slide that out. See, you just take your little screwdriver, right? You go like that and you just tap it with a hammer and that will come out. Okay guys, I have to show you this. So over here, there's this kind of thing, right? And there's like an access hole. So I found a better way to do this. So you put the screwdriver in at an angle like this and watch inside of here. See, there it is. See, there's a little screwdriver. See, you can really, really get to it easy. Just like that. And boom, a couple wax with a hammer lightly and that pin will just slide right out. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, that honestly took 10 seconds. See, I got it out. That's what it looks like. Um, okay, now you close the door and I'll show you how to get the cylinder out. Okay, so all you gotta do now is put your key in. If your key's worn out, you might have to jiggle it around and play around with this for a little bit. But see, there it goes. This whole cylinder will just come right out. Um, like I said, I have a really worn out key, so you might have to put it in and out, wiggle it side to side, but this thing will just slide right out. Oh, there it goes. See? Okay, let me just get this off. Oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, so now that you got it out, you gotta be really careful. Like, I am keeping this because if I ever go to like Toronto or something, I'm, I'm probably gonna get the original key made. They make them for about 150 bucks. Uh, but the thing is though, the second you pull the key out of this, guys, all these little things here, they will all fall out and this thing will get ruined. So before you pull this key out, like I'm gonna stick it into my parts car handle, get it and that's where it's gonna stay. Um, or another thing you could do is get some tape and wrap it around so these little things don't fall out when you pull your key out. Cause I'm still gonna need this key for my ignition guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna go outside and what we're gonna do guys is out of my parts car here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna pull this guy out. So you know how to do that now. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Don't go off this video too quickly guys. There's still a few things I gotta show you really quick. It's almost over, bear with me. Okay, so I'm about to put this in. So there is like a little, see like a little cutout at the bottom. So the cutout goes towards the bottom like so. Um, so there you go. So now we're gonna have working uh, doors that open and close, see? As soon as you take the key out, boom. All we gotta do is go inside, put that pin in. But remember guys, this is super important. These are chip keys, guys. So 1997, and down, uh, the door doesn't have a chip, so it doesn't matter if you switch your lock cylinder, you can unlock your car, put your other key in the ignition and drive away, right? Um, but 98 and up, there is also like a chip reader inside of here. So if you switch keys like I just did, it's not gonna work, guys. Um, so that's number one. 
And number two, guys, if you liked today's episode, I have another episode for the other side. I'm actually taking the whole door handle off, guys, and I'll show you how to do it the proper way uh, without actually having to pull your window completely out. You do gotta take some stuff off, and I'll show you how to get this, this cover off without breaking it. There's even a video on the internet, guys, where the guy's like, oh, you pull this with a screwdriver. Oh, the clips were old, so they broke. No, they don't break if you do it right. There's like a thing in the back that you slide. Anyways, so I got that video, and also in the description, check out a link to my playlist. I got a playlist on restoring this whole car, interior, everything, and I also have a manual swap playlist. Check those out. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage, guys. Till next time, all the way from Canada, Problem Solver Garage.